Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we will be discussing on how to exploit this blind command injection vulnerability. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to be connect, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out, check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. But if you want to join my community, you can check out my Discord uh, server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous videos, we discussed about command injection and uh, uh, what the thing that is clear is like we got to find out something like this like this is a test application and uh, like we successfully exploited that so let me show you this is the payload that i used a simple payload that i used and once i click on submit so you can see that i'm getting a kind of debugging output or payload or anything like that so in this case so what i can confirm is like this particular application or this particular uh, web application or anything this target is vulnerable for the command injection vulnerability so let us assume a case where you are not getting any output there okay so whether you input a wrong data any wrong data or any data but you are not getting any output so in that case how you can verify whether the application is uh, vulnerable to the command injection or not so in that case we call it something like blind command injection so we'll uh, follow some few methodologies a few uh, types in order to see uh, like in order to test whether the application is vulnerable or not okay so as i told you this as i uh, discussed earlier so blind uh, blind command injection okay so like uh, we don't know like uh, we are not we are in a dilemma that we don't know whether the application is vulnerable for command injection or not so it is mostly used for verify okay uh, so you can simply try these payloads okay on uh, some application and you can test whether they are vulnerable or not for the command injection vulnerability so so guys the technique that we will be using is like we will be using some time delay payloads or we try to identify or detect this particular blind command injection based on time delay only so you can call something like time delay payloads okay so time delay as the name suggests so uh, the payloads that we are going to enter or that we are going to send to the web application uh, makes the application a bit delay then okay like once it gets executed it, it makes some delay so let me go back quickly so this is my a normal application so let me do a quick reload here so you can see like it is taking a matter of uh, two to three seconds in order to uh, reload this application in some normal stock uh, stock format but once if you do uh, but once if you inject this particular time delay payloads or time delay process then the reload time becomes much more or the time in order to uh, make the web application load goes a bit longer so that is the thing that i'm going to uh, showcase now time delay payloads so let me go back quickly so let me generate a payload first so first of all uh, 127.0.0.1 let me create a payload here the payload is simple guys like we need to make okay you can use any payload you need to make the application load for some time it can like a matter of like some time is fine okay so let me do a, a quick ping to at 10 ping packets to same itself only okay so let me do a quick copy paste there Let me click on submit so you can see it takes a lot of time here like if you compare the previous one to a previous thing to this thing so it is going to take a lot of time here so that is the thing so you can see it took like eight seconds there okay but uh, as i told you this application is not a blind command injection thing so you will be seeing the output here in this case but in the thing uh, like the thing that I'm um, going that I'm mentioning is like you won't be seeing this output. The only thing you can observe is the time delay there. So based on this, you can uh, try to uh, find this, like try to identify whether the application is vulnerable to blind command injection or not. And one thing is also there, and one more thing is also there. So time delay. So this is a simple thing. You can do, use anything, anything of your choice. So like as I told you, it should make some delay okay so and one thing you can always do is like 
this is a bit uh, uh, like it might work or might not work so for that you will be using Wireshark so Wireshark as you all know Wireshark is for packet capturing okay so eth0 here i am going with this interface so what i will be doing here is so i will be pinging to myself here okay so myself in the sense this attacker machine here so for that let me find out the ip address of my machine so it is uh, 130 let me copy this thing let me construct a payload as of now 127.0.0.1 so this the payload that i am showing will not work all the time okay like it only works few times but because like the application the modern applications are using some complex firewalls so that doesn't allow these pings and stuff okay but here like as i ping only to the self so local host uh, it won't make any uh, n such noise there okay so let me copy this thing uh, and let me go back uh, to this thing and let me paste it here let me click submit so you can see uh, the IP address of this particular uh, metasploitable machine is 129. So IP dot A D D R equal to 192.168.92.129. You can see I got a few ICMP packets here. So that is the thing. So based on this as well, you can try to identify. Like as I told you, it won't. It might not work in all the cases. But there is a good amount of chance in order to identify it. So that's it guys for this video. And in the upcoming videos, I will be trying to showcase some uh, automated tools which help you like doing all this stuff automatically. So if you like this video, make sure you like it and do share with uh, do share this video with the one who are interested in this stuff. So this is Sattvik signing off. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.